I'm Chris Kelly, and right now we're going to talk about adjusting the belts. The first step is you need to install them. You align the dot on the drive timing pulley with the mark on the crankcase. That's the dot on the pulley. That's the mark on the crankcase. You want them to be close to each other. Turn the engine over until they are pretty close to aligning. For the vertical cylinder, you need to align the mark of the pulley to the mark on the cover. The mark on the cover is not the easiest to see. If you don't see it, you might want to paint yours, make it a little bit easier. Also, this pulley is against the springs, the helper springs. And it's difficult to hold in position. So it's something you get to fight with to get just right. What I typically do is put the belt on, rotate the pulley, and get it as close as I can. Now we feed it on the bottom pulley, or the drive pulley. And then engage the teeth. Bring the tensioner over. Bring the tensioner over by hand. And hand tighten it for now. It's the same concept on the forward or horizontal cylinder. Here's the timing mark on the pulley. On the newer engines, there's not a dot. However, we can use this as a line. Right now, the mark perfectly lines up with the hole in the cover. And we'll zoom in on that again. You see the mark perfectly lines up with the hole in the cover. This is only on the newer bikes. The older ones do actually have a dot right here on the cover, or on the inner belt cover. With the dots lined up, the forward cylinder is at top dead center. We're going to set the belt tension now. You start by hand. 
I always visually check that when I pull down on the belt, I can get it off the pulley. See if you can slide a 5 millimeter Allen key across the idler pulley. Now, we'll try to slide the 6 millimeter key. It was quite difficult to slide the 6. Nay, impossible with one hand. That's perfect belt tension. I use 20 foot pounds of torque on these. Now rotate the engine so the vertical cylinder is at top dead center on the compression stroke. The intake valve is open. Drawing in and compressing. And we check we're near the mark on the flywheel. Basically, the two cylinders are 90 degrees apart. Five slides through. And the six does not. Now turn the engine over several times by hand to ensure there's no interference. Additionally, I'll double check the dots. And they're all perfectly aligned. See, setting the belts is not that hard.